Jamie Hoyer almost facing me, right? Yes, yeah, very similar. I would usually drop like an educated cheese on him, but that cheese is so bad I can't even drop an educated <laughs> right? You know? Because Roy like was, it's Roy his was educated cheese. cheese. Educated cheese was been around a long time. It wasn't yes. really fast, but it was yes. located at the right spot at the right time because you're smart. Get it? That was the great Dennis Eckersley talking about educated cheese. <laughs> per the Actionary Dictionary, educated cheese is a well-located, executed, in an indoor sequence fastball by a veteran pitcher who no longer throws hard. And a few examples there for you of educated cheese in the Actionary vocabulary. Talking about very, very Zito, who did not have that at the end of his career. And of course, I have one TTM today. Welcome to Wicket Thursday. Wicket Thursday is all New England sports. Ex great barcaster for Nesson, New England Sports Network for the Red Sox. And I do have a re good return coming up here from the Eck. And Wicket means good in New England, not bad. It's an overused catchphrase meaning wicked as in good and I have a wicked awesome return here from the Eck Dennis Eckersley I got him here on his 1976 Tops rookie card and on the 1987 Tops card with the Cubbies this was three cards sent two cards signed took nine quick days for a $20 fee out of Boston Massachusetts he is a straight $10 for per card just sent an Oakland A's card as well, 87 top trade of it, sign it. This is Dennis Lee Erkesey, who was born on October 3rd, 1954 in Oakland, California. He's a right-handed throwing pitcher. He spent how many seasons? Quite a few seasons of the majors, 1995 to 1998. With the Indians, Red Sox, Cubs, A's, St. Louis Cardinals. He was a reliever later in his career and a starter earlier. And he is a Hall of Famer. And of course, Eck is now a broadcaster with the England Sports Network. And he is known for his very colorful language to describe the different pitchers, different hitters, etc. And as you saw in the um, opening clip, he, that was um, him talking about pitcher Barry Zito, who he, Barry Zito did was a great pitcher early in his career, but later in his career, I guess he did not have the educated cheese, as I introduced you to early. He did not have that high of velocity fastball, and he didn't place it rightly. Um, I would say a guy like um, Ker Clayton Kershaw is a guy with educated cheese. He doesn't throw as hard as he used to back in the day. He used to throw really hard, but he's probably about 91 now, and but he knows how to locate it. Which makes can, makes him continue to be effective at 34 years old. So um, Eck has this bunch of different terms that I have fun kind of kind of breaking down a bit for you, and you can look it up in any dictionary. And I'll put a link in, down below if you want to have fun looking through them as well. And I have a little clip here talking about a different kind of cheese. Cheese is a word for a fastball, an ex vocabulary, a cheese ball, or a piece of cheese, etc. So a few examples of that here, and hear him talking about one example of another type of cheese. Hi, I'm Dennis Eckersley, and it's time to play What the Eck? I'm asking real Bostonians to try and explain the meaning of my baseball phrases. Now here we go. What does easy cheese mean? When a pitcher forgets to put his socks on. Easy money. <laughs> oh, easy cheese is the extra topping you put on a Fenway Frank. Nachos, I don't know. <laughs> Where's Boston's best place? What the heck, people? Easy cheese per the Xionary is an effortless, high velocity fastball. Ex example, once again, that easy cheese. Look at this. This is a two seam. It's hot, effortless. Or translated once again that effortless 95 mile per fastball look at this this is a two seam it's hot effortless and and Eck had that easy cheese and here he is against Carlton Fist in 1981 
Fist is returned to Fenway Park with the Easy Cheese. Carlton Fist, amidst the mixed cheers and boos here at Fenway Park, will stand in for his third at bat against his former teammate Denny Eckersley. Fisk has bounced to the mound and hit a pop fly single that the wind did tricks with. So Carlton is one for two so far here today. Takes a strike just under the letters inside corner all in one. Each club with three hits. Red Sox have the only two errors. Yeah, a lot of people still love Carlton Fisk here is that ovation before the ball game would indicate there's a pitch inside a ball one and one. Of course he was a native New Englander. Made it even tougher for him to leave. One nothing. The Red Sox leading here in the top of the sixth. And Carlton lines one into the low seats down the third base side. One ball, two strikes. Sox have left five men on through the first five innings. Excellent chance to score in the first. And second innings, they had a two out threat in the third. The only time Eckersley put them down in order was in the fourth. Quite a few fans on top of a very tall billboard over the center field wall here, getting a bird's eye view of the game. Ball two, strike two, the cap to Fisk. Leading off the Sox sixth inning. He'll be followed by Luzinski and Lemon. Yeah. Up high, ball three, strike two, full count. The Cubs and the Mets here tomorrow at one on our next Sox telecast. Be next Friday night. Fuck him out. Stand corrected. One o'clock next Friday. Afternoon game. Another look at Fisk striking out. And a strikeout number six for Dennis Eckersley. Got that pitch down and in on him. Here's Greg Luzinski still looking for a piece of anything right now. He's 0 for 2. There he is. Dennis Eckersley with the easy cheese to Pudge Carlton Fisk. An opening day 1981 when Fisk came back after leaving the Red Sox. And he was throwing out that down and in easy cheese to Fisk. Got him. So, as you get it, if you don't watch Eck a lot, he comes up with colorful language. Here's a few more. A few more. I'm going through the dictionary here. Here, a high velocity fastball or one with a late movement, maybe must be at least 95 miles per hour. So I would say you ought to perhaps some hair. Example: This guy's got some hair, doesn't he? Ball jumps out of his hand. Translated: This guy got a hard fastball, doesn't he? Ball jumps out of his hand. Doesn't it sound better? This guy has some hair. Or hairy guy. Fisk is a hairy guy. He was a middle of the order hitter. It's long far home runs on a lot of them. So a hairy guy, middle of the order guy with the power. A hook is a filthy curveball. A hump to throw as hard as possible with deceptive philosophy. Or the famous Johnson in the words of Eck, everything's a Johnson. Goes with everything. Or common uses. Three-run Johnson, three-run home run, backdoor Johnson, backdoor breaking ball, steal, steal Johnson, stolen base, you get it. Or the kitchen, way inside a hitter, usually will jam the hitter a big. So look up the dictionary, fun vocabulary of uh, Dennis Eckersley, pair of shoes, a look and strikeout, the batter usually thinks the pitch is a ball out of the pitcher's hand, cause him to freeze in his shoes as it crosses the plate for a strike, a pair of shoes, so. And educated cheese. That was the uh, guy with the, who's lost some maybe velocity on his fastball, but knows still knows how to, to 
place I'd say later in his career, Eck probably had some educated cheese as well. He knew how to he knew how to fool some hitters. He hardly walked anybody. He was a great reliever later later in his career. Great starter early in his career. Had a Hall of Fame career. Looking terrific here on this 1976 tops on this 1987 tops for the Indians and the, the Cubbies. Shout out to Tony Black with got a Cubbies one and House of House of Cards with its Guardians slash Indians card. Um, indeed, I th hope you enjoyed another rendition of Wicked Thursday. This is a this is all about Dennis Eckersley, the great. Fun to watch him. He Ross he still broadcasts some games with the Red Sox, but he, he's, I think he's taking a little break a little bit this season. We've got some other broadcasters coming in. We've got Kevin Euclid has been broadcast a lot of games. I've been enjoying his commentary, and it was fun, fun listening to Eckersley, and it was really fun when he was brought, just broadcasting some games with Jerry Remy. Um, rest in peace, Jerry Remy passed away last year, and they broadcast a lot of games together as well. Well, I hope you enjoyed. You all have a good week. I'll be back with another Wicked Thursday. We'll see what we'll do next week. I don't know what, what it'll be yet. Who knows what it'll be? We'll see what I get in the mail, or maybe I'll do something else. Take care. God bless. Peace.